What what the problem again with the computer for some reason stopped uh, rooting stuff to the headphones properly, but I fixed it this time. And I think I know what I need to do every time is just do a fresh restart of the PC for a stream and everything will be fine. Uh, I've moved the webcam again. <laughs> uh, it's just because naturally I look over towards this television, uh, with the second monitor. So I'll put it back on top of the second monitor and it'll do for now. <laughs> I was hoping to find a way to mirror me so I'm facing that way but it's uh, I might I might just move me to the opposite corner but I can't remember exactly what information is in which corner here so actually if I do that right now yeah that'll do <laughs> so Assassin's Creed Syndicate my favorite Assassin's Creed game it's not the best gameplay wise but let's not say it's lacking in any sort of way but uh, both Origins and Odyssey have got it beat gameplay wise but the Victorian London setting just you know calls to me so I thought let's I wanted to stream an Assassin's Creed game let's stream my favourite one I was about halfway through the game about 16 hours in but I've deleted the save data, which I had to go and do manually, because there's only one save slot. Thanks, Ubisoft. And I'm starting again from the beginning. So we'll see how this all goes. Uh, I think my volume level should be okay. I did do my usual quick check beforehand. So we should be okay. Today has, to be blunt, sucked balls. Uh, so... I needed a game I enjoy to actually play. The past is your playground, Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. I've got a picture. on the payload sending it now a lot to sift through i'm gonna get the initiates on it asap you look weird with a weapon let's plant a little bug and see what we can see got something isabel ardant has a meeting here in a few hours uh doesn't say with who doesn't say with whom rebecca I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Yep. Evie's cool. Jacob's an umpty. But they're both lovable. It is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Yep, been there. Thrice you responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. 
His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. Cheeky Blighters! There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. What head chimney sweep? And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond. To kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered. Though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. Except now when the world would kindly like us to piss off. <laughs> to put it bluntly. I will apologise in advance for any uh, dodgy Cockney accents during all this. Uh, there's bound to be... <laughs> I'm bound to slip into it occasionally. It's difficult to resist. Croydon, been there. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. He's going to get stabby. Gonna just walk up to someone and just go, uh, 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 uh. May the greed guide you, you vagrants. Poor man, more afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. E.B. Fry, where did you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. So here we go in Croydon. Uh, when I live down <laughs> south. Guy. Used to go shopping there every few weekends. It was weird when the riots were there uh, years back, because there was like one photo and I was like, oh, I know that crossing. The Argos is over there, and Forbidden Planet's just across the road. It's this, like, it's weird. How long does he intend to go on like this? He's disrupting the other workers. Machine fixed and send me some laudanum for my head. Oh, right we're now. gonna kill you. Oh, we'll sort your headache out. I'd forgotten this was actually the first mission. It's just it's it's been a it's been a while. So it's been quite some time since I played this bit. This was one of the first PlayStation games I ever got. Locked. Well, PlayStation 4 games, that is. No one goes in or out, unless there's a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. So. Thing is, we're both we're both a problem solver and a problem maker. That one. Yeah, I traded in a load of unneeded equipment and bought a. Oh, I need to invert. I need to fix the controls. Yeah, 
Oh, it's just some numpty causing shenanigans. Oops, a daisy. What's all this? Which one of you is responsible? That'd be me. Hello, chum. The sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man. Well, I'll teach you how to beg for it. It's weird getting used to Jacob's fighting style again because the majority of this game I played is Eevee in the open world. Even with the, the awesome costume you can get for Jacob. Come oh, blimey, governor! There's been a murder! Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. I thought he was someone I could assassinate, obviously not. He's obviously an innocent personage. So, off we go. Scamping about. tutorials but <laughs> yes I'm playing thief that's me sorry you were saying <laughs> calling me a cheeky sod were you <laughs> oh I absolutely adore Some of the incidental dialogue in this game. <laughs> yeah, we ain't exactly being subtle. Jacob ain't the subtle one. Sorry, what was that? Couldn't hear you over the sound of how awesome I am. Right, here we go. It's also weird having to sit and loot AV assassination target because uh, I was at the point in Eevee's skill tree at least where every time a surprise assassinated someone I automatically looted the body before it hit the ground. Which was awesome.
Yeah, that could have gone better. But that's the the kind of good balance in these games is that quite often, even when you do mess things up and get in a bit of trouble, a lot of the time it's recoverable. there's no morality system in this game so uh, it's not like although you can get like XP bonuses from uh, not killing people Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Ooh, you bastard. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, right. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I just, just about the ended myself there. I was not expecting... Uh... <laughs> Hello, Simon. Uh, thanks for hosting me. You scared the life out of me. I wondered what the hell that noise was. I, I got an alert noise, even though I've got alert noises turned off. So, yeah, I was a little bit surprised. you calling strange just because I'm being sneaky 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 oh come on okay see you all right <laughs> Yeah, no, desktop audio is muted, so I shouldn't have, I shouldn't get noises like that, but it just, it came through, and it was like, whoa, what, wait, what? <laughs> I thought something had broken. All right, I'll remember where to go from here. Oh, 
two entry points. Oi, oi, me, oi. Boom. Down like a set of spuds. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. Oh, don't you worry, lass. We'll be okay. We'll be all right. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry for giving you a wee flick there. Oh, sorry for giving you a wee flag. If you just bear with me one second. No ticket. To be fair, this isn't much different than normal Croyd trains in Croydon. Oh, right. Oh, right. How do I explain this? Uh, you're basically using a kind of virtual reality system to uh, replay historical events uh, in order to find some ancient artifacts that have been left by the a race of either, I think it's aliens, but uh, to be honest at this point I can't remember. So uh, the first game had uh, you going back to ancient Persia. <laughs> yeah, I must have forgotten Oyster Card. So uh, oh, we seem to have made an unscheduled stop. 
Oh, you're a, you're a cheeky one, Jacob. Right, I, I will pause there for a second to try and explain this. So yeah, uh, Assassin's Creed, the basic lore that I can remember, because I've missed quite a bit of it, uh, is uh, there was kind of a precursor race, a bit like, uh, or maybe the Atlanteans or something, who left behind certain artifacts. And over the last couple of thousand years, uh, the Assassins and the Templars have both been trying to get these artifacts. Uh, come to present day, and we're using... I say technology, it's more like a wee bit of magic. Uh, you're able to get someone's DNA and then use that along with the computer systems. You've got to go back and... Uh, play historical events that their ancestors took place in but to be honest that's all very much in the background to the extent that sometimes you completely forget that there's the present day stuff happening basically each game has you usually uh, taking on templars or other villains in various historical periods most of the time you play an assassin it's just it's it's a lot of fun, in general. But yeah, yeah, you, you caught me out actually with that question because <laughs> I said I kind of forget about all the, the future stuff. Although you will see a little tiny bit of that at the beginning of this. There is a, a brief cut scene. But it's basically just an excuse for historical adventures. We're running about meeting some famous historical figures uh, sneaking about and killing lots of bad people <laughs> and this is my favourite of the series purely because of the Victorian London setting but uh, I would easily recommend Black Flag which is pirates uh, Origins which is uh, ancient Egypt and the latest one, Odyssey, which is uh, ancient Greece and is absolutely fantastic. But they've kind of... The games have kind of evolved a bit since this one. Uh, this was the last of kind of the second run of games. And Origins and Odyssey are kind of the first two in the new cycle. But there's never really been a bad Assassin's Creed game. And the older ones do go on sale, even the newer ones go on sale quite often. Yes, now we're switching to the other twin because, uh, again, because you're using the DNA to look, play through lives of your ancestors. This two happen to be twins, so you can play as either of them. And certain parts you play have to play as one or the other. But in the open world parts, you can choose which of the two characters to play as. And I usually play as Evie, because she's a bit more sneaky. And Jacob's a bit of a numpty. But he's, he's a lovable numpty. Yard. Guard quarters. Brewster's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. Yeah, and a piece of Eden is now, uh, one of the ancient artifacts to? left yeah, by the precursors, who are the where is it? Huh? the alien race. Where's Brewster's supply? Meter. Let's see if I remember how to do this without the extra abilities I had on my previous save. You just come here, you just come here. And off we go. Time to deploy the diversion. I'm on my way, Sir David. I 
to see what you've got in your pockets. Yeah, he did briefly spot me, but I'd already kind of knifed him, so, <laughs> so it was not a problem. So one thing I do like about the Assassin's Creed games is that quite a bit of the time, even if you do really Hello, mess up the sneaky sections, you can usually recover it. <laughs> Yeah, this was one of the first batch of PS4 games I got. I actually thought I'd played it a lot more than I have. Rubisoft Club tells me I played it for 16 and a half hours, but I'm sure it was a lot more than that. Yeah, look. I've only actually completed one of them, and that was Assassin's Creed 2, which was awesome because the final boss was the Pope, and I'm not even joking, uh, when the Borgias had taken over the, uh, had uh, become Pope, and your final boss fight was against him and his magic staff, all the others have kind of... Oh, I messed up. Yeah, that was a... Yeah. Yeah, I messed that up. I got caught in the scenery a bit there. <laughs> forward to the next Assassin's Creed game, Valhalla, which is Vikings in like the 900 AD invading England. Oh, come on, come on. There was still a little bit of clunkiness to the controls in this one, but most of the time should keep you busy while I head okay. into your lab. But I basically got into the games because uh, back in the 360, a bunch of them were really, really cheap at one point, so... Follow me down the tracks. I know. Stay here. Keep a look at it. Some right. blighters. Shout if I get any bother. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. Yeah, Odyssey is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Cassandra is one of my favourite characters in recent video games. And I've gotten a, a good few laughs at just some of her reactions to things that go on. Just a, a response to the, the aftermath. The only way I can put it, the aftermath of one side mission. Uh, I need two more had me dying of laughter. Your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention. You've been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the Order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David, I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. 
In case you're guest to the Templar symbol on her armband and the tiny hat, yeah, she's evil. Who sent you? One of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. And there's our first historical figure, Sir David Vista. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. So, time for a magic vision. So yeah, eagle vision basically shows you stuff, mainly uh, enemies, what level they are. That glowing hay bale means that's a hiding place. There's a glowing vase over there I can do some stuff with. And if I go all the way around... someone there but it'll also show you other things glowing uh, like traps you can set up oh glad you enjoyed Breath of the Wild Simon it is absolutely awesome ah no 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 ah two in that button there we go pull me back so yes uh, one thing in the Assassin's Creed games is uh, diving into hay bales or large piles of leaves and not dying. Come on, come on. There we go. Let's go into sneaky mode. bring this up just to have a look. I think I'm okay for a little bit here. Oh, there's someone. Come on, one. Yeah, headshot. And this is the thing quite often I can take or leave sneaky games. Well, the first one you can. Bizarrely, the first Assassin's Creed is the only one you can't get on a modern console. You would have to go back to Xbox 360 for that. Although I suspect they may announce a remaster of it uh, soon. Because. Uh, Part of the season pass for Odyssey was a remaster of Assassin's Creed 3. So the the ones I would recommend is this one I would recommend. This is awesome. Syndicate. Black Flag is awesome. It's all uh, pirates. Uh, Blackbeard, the era of Blackbeard and everything uh, has some great boating bits. But to be honest, uh, I would go with Odyssey if you see it. Uh, if you see it cheap, it's a. Uh, it's the bit. I think it's the better of the two current ones, and it is uh, just an amazing just adventure in uh, ancient Greece. Huge amounts of side stuff to do. It took me nine hours just to complete the second chapter because I was going around the island helping people and. Uh, pretending to be gods and doing other stuff. Whoops. But I'm kind of expecting if if uh, the first one does get remastered. I'm expecting them to kind of upgrade some elements of it because it was quite clunky and really it was uh, Assassin's Creed 2 is the one kind of one kind of took really took notice. Okay, right, I might not get this guy with one headshot because. 
he's one of the big fellas, but too old day. Oh yeah, black flag definitely worth it at that price. I've actually bought it twice. <laughs> I bought it back in the Xbox 360, played a good amount there, but then uh, one weekend, uh, oops. Then uh, one weekend, uh, the PS4 version was on sale, and so I just nabbed it. And yeah, I really enjoy Black Flight. It's got it's another one with a really good, uh, a really likable uh, lead character. Because when it came out, it was the it was kind of the cross-generational one. It was the last... Well, it wasn't the last one on Xbox 360 because there was one more after that. But uh, it was the first one that kind of came out on both. And then apart from Assassin's Creed Vogue, uh, they moved to just the, the current consoles after that. But honestly, the only reason uh, this wins out over Black Flag is just because of the setting. Just uh, Victorian London is just one of those... One of those things I'm a massive fan of. And so I enjoy anything set during that time. Oops. Yeah, that was a mistake. Where'd he go? Oops. What? Yeah. Yeah, the finishers are kind of brutal in this game. <laughs> So that's a thought. Do I have? No, I don't. Okay. I was just checking because after I finish this prologue bit, a whole bunch of stuff is going to suddenly unlock. <laughs> and actually, I made the right choice moving the. Oh, I hear, I hear treasure. See it though. I think I need to upgrade my eagle vision. What? Oh, no, there it is. It's only recently a, a friend of mine on Twitter was a. Uh, he was been replaying a couple of Assassin's Creed games and he's spotting all sorts of little connections between the games he'd never noticed before. But he's actually found out there's some stuff hinting at the Viking things. Now if I'm really sneaky here, can I do a double assassination? Not quite, but that worked. <laughs> you kindly. I was in ever such a squeaky fix when, what do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? Untie me and then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. Uh, now, untie me? You got yourself in? I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. 
because that way you're just as a mad hatter. I don't remember if he actually shows up again or not. Another thing with these games is you've got the main story, but there's also so many little side things and other bits and pieces you can do. And even then, I remember me and a non gaming friend literally spent an entire evening uh, just wandering around London in this and just uh, finding places we'd been to. Go back down here and uh, checking whether a couple of things were historically accurate or not. <laughs> Check Regal Vision. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, I'm going to get a tutorial in a bit here. Oops, nope, didn't get out of the way quick enough. Hide here. No, hide, 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 hide. Get in there, there we go. No, get in there and stay in. Oh, God's sake, woman. <laughs> Okay, we may have we may have messed up more than we can deal with here, but we'll see. Counter, counter, counter. Yeah, escape. Yeah, run. <laughs> Oh no, they still know where I am. Quick, run, 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 run. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we messed up more than we could handle here. Yeah, I believe they added uh, his virtual tour mode to uh, Odyssey as well. Because they've, uh, they've actually been giving away the virtual tours uh, of Egypt and Greece uh, for free recently. Right, we'll try that again, except we'll do better this time. Whoops, no, you didn't see me, you didn't see me, you didn't see me. Okay, you did see me, but there's only one of you, so we should be okay. Actually, I was chatting with a friend on Twitter about this. I would love a wild, I would love an Assassin's Creed set in the Wild West. I reckon there's some 
potential there. I mean, yeah, for big open world Western uh, Wild West games, there's Red Dead Redemption, but uh, it's got too much finicky stuff for me. So I need to steal a key from them. Come on. Come on, someone. There's nothing. You never saw nothing, mate. Yeah, often the game gives you enough leeway that if you do get spotted, you can salvage it. But uh, yeah, that little attempt to tell you was not my best either. Got it. Cat. Hello, cat. Unfortunately, I can't pet you in this game. I could in Black Flag. And again, I hear. I do hear treasure. But yeah, I probably. Should, where do I need to go? Okay, I'm going back this way. Do, 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 do. So it's just a bit strange not having all the abilities I had in my main save. Uh, I'd upgraded quite a few things. Some eagle vision for one thing. I'd spot a lot more enemies over a much bigger area. But we'll get there, we'll cope, we'll cope. There's not anyone over there. And you can if you want just knock people out, but this isn't one of these games that really judges you on whether you kill bad guys or just knock them for six. Something. Right, so I want to be getting it over there. Let's see. And yeah, it's often when you're on a mission, you'll get these optional objectives in the corner. So if I manage to kill. That's one. If I manage to kill five enemies with using the hanging barrels, I'll just I'll get a little bonus XP. a little bit powered up I would have tried taking some of them out but I am not okay I think we're okay
Language, language. Oh no! Oh, if I'd had one more knife, I could have. Oops. No, I didn't want to go there. I said, because it's a simulation. Yeah, outside the play area is an unstable data area. That's the equivalent of like invisible walls. They're actually really nice in uh, Black Flag. Because it's like uh, the edges of the sea map are like this evil looking storm. It just puts you off even trying to get close to them. Okay, entry point. Oops. Oh, now I get a throwing knife. <laughs> Right, be careful here. Oh, it's okay, they're just regular people. That's the thing, regular, normal everyday people. Well, they'll comment on you sneaking about and stuff, but they won't actually usually call gar guards or anything. You know what? I can't resist, I can't resist, I've got a throwing knife now. to be careful and actually properly point the camera towards people to pick them up. Down, whoops, down we go. Right back in here. Come on. Come on. Come on, mate. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. the blood vessel here. Come on. Come over here. You think you saw me there? 
And you were right, you did. And it also should point out that this section of the game is a very kind of guided section. Whereas once you get to the main part of the game, it's all completely open, almost completely open world. Come on, come on, come on. Three run down, three run down, three run down. Except that's just going back outside, isn't it? All oh, right, okay. I forgot. I just locate the secret entrance using Eagle Vision. Yeah, it has been a while since I did this. <laughs> You just go over there, you just go over there. You just come back over here, mate. Time for you to go to sleep, big boy. And there's also the, the, the fact, <laughs> I believe you can store an infinite number, an infinite number of bodies in a, in a single haystack. Or, in, a, in, in one case, in one of the other games, uh, an outside toilet. There you are, the entrance to Bruce's lab. Which is a door, which I probably would have seen anyway. Okay. <laughs> We didn't get the bonus challenge, but normally that just gets you a little bit of extra XP. And with the amount of XP you can gain from just doing side stuff and other random bits and pieces. Ah, skill upgrades, right. Right now. No, I'm not bothered about that. Yes, Eagle Vision boosts that instantly. Alright, I've already got that, so Eagle Vision 2. Alright, I can only unlock that so far. Well, that's fine, that's double assassination, which I could have done with Elliot. Ah, now here we go, right. Eagle Vision 2, I definitely want first. Because it's just a nice upgrade. So yeah. Here's the bit I love. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes with that you can easily take out two people in front and then a third person standing just in front of them before they have time to be at. I'm 
playing it sneaky stabby. Said I had another skill point, so what do I want to do? Not too bothered about that at the moment. Uh, lock picking could be useful. Yeah, take the the loot take down. Which means I don't have to if I assassinate someone I don't have to individually loot everybody so when I take these guys down instantly I get some money and some throwing knives another thing to point out is fat I don't play a lot of stealthy games because I'm not brilliant at them but as I've mentioned this just gets the balance absolutely right yeah you see now I'm getting a lot more pings on the eagle vision in one go some side activities that's brilliant for where uh, I'm sure there'll be a tutorial on them at some point <laughs> here we go piece of Eden increase the electricity but it'll become unstable sir you heard what Miss Thorne said we need results now and yet yeah, we're about to assassinate our first historical <laughs> figure here Oh, don't worry, we'll meet Charles Darwin eventually. Almost, almost. Hate it when they turn around at just the wrong moment. Yeah, the combat system is it looks complex but it's not really it's actually very simple yeah you we're not talking devil may cry or being at a levels of a uh, combat here the animations are complex but what you're actually hitting to do those things is not actually if we just go back around here i wonder if the whistles Yeah, there we go. Come on. You first. You first. Sorry, what was that? It was me whistling, you numpty. Get over here. So I can do you in. Just in case things go oh, a bit peak tong. Okay, he's facing that way. Good, good, good. He's facing that way. 
Give them. Oops, oops, that was a mistake. I didn't realise that was electric. But not a problem. Night, night, sir, Brewster. It is time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Sally. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. Will we fight to gain what we cannot take with us? It's in our nature. Yeah, another part of it all being a simulation is it means you can have conversations with the people you've just assassinated. This is just one of those, those nice little things. Yeah, quick, off ski, off we go. <laughs> No, not that way. That no. See, so yeah, bits of this actually feel almost like the Tomb Raider reboot. In fact, I remember playing Assassin's Creed 2 at the time. This was before the actual Tomb Raider reboot had come out and thinking that some of the little bits and pieces, uh, the cathedral missions and things, were actually very, very like playing a new Tomb Raider game. And then the reboot Tomb Raider actually came out and it kind of had some of that, but not quite. So yeah, there we go. I have Assassinate Brewster. Oh, well, I got that bonus at least and I didn't even notice it was one. Yeah, I, I got a cape out of it and a bit of additional XP for your assassinating booster. So, continue. And that's just kind of the pro that's just the prologue. That the whole last hour and the quarter. What was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan. Hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? <laughs> well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. Oi. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. 
You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Oh yeah, scenic Crawley. Yeah, I can't Patience. wait to get back there. Ugh. A gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Onward to mayhem. Let's. Onward to London. Q opening credits. Yes, the games do. I know. Oh, I know. Hold up. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo. But I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Yes, this isn't kind of present day. Call Dr. Grammatica. Isabel, what a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Master Berg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! And as far as I'm... All they had to do was wait yeah. for you to search the data. Your little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. Yeah, so basically we're playing through historical uh, characters' memories to find the information of where this uh, magical artifact is before the Templars do. And as far as I know, that is the last bit of the present day for at least the next 12 hours. It is very much in the background in most of these games. Now a whole bunch of stuff's going to unlock probably as soon as I get control again. Because I've got a whole load of Ubisoft Club rewards and extra bits and pieces from the downloadable content. So we'll get about two minutes of beep beep windows in the corner. So here we go, Whitechapel. I've never seen so many people all at once. The churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Stop! You thieving little toe rag, you. So 
So yes, now there'll be occasional restrictions, but now we've got the whole of central London to run around and play in. Fine, you little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? Come on in. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, get stuffed. <laughs> Excellent. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Oh. Not since we were two. Not on my watch. Yeah, I'll be a little bit guided here, but. Up we go. Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins, equal in height, one female, one male, two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the council desires news. He's a get. London must be free to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. <coughs> Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. You've always seen yourself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You're never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? Letting the switch yet? No, not yet. So, vantage points. These are in every Assassin's Creed game. Basically, each area will have one or more vantage points. You need to get up to them. Then synchronize. Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free the Cockneys! You have my word. I my looks. That's right. Your fashion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. Just checking still. I'll explain the map in a little bit. I'm just checking that, yeah, I'm still 
Still locked to being Jacob. Down we go. Oh! To be honest, diving into things like that never gets old. Keep quiet. Kalok's looking for me. Who's Kalok? One of Starik's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The piece of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starik gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain aboard, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. Yeah, we will get to that eventually. I do take issue with the fact he chooses yellow jackets and trousers for the rooks that just look ugly. Oh, who's this? Confound this city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta-ta! What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. Yeah, we'll be doing missions for Charles uh, uh, Dickens later. Kaylock's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah, you might be able to use this. Oh God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to get them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. <coughs> I do apologize. Oh no, is this where we... Yeah. <laughs> Here's Miguel. Grand Theft London. This, uh, this will be, this will be janky. Walk on, girl. There we go. That's it. I got completely mixed up to the controls there for a second. But off we go. Yes. They've gone. Now to return totally to historically the accurate. Oh, honest. Your relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. <laughs> Keep moving. Reverse. I know, look. Mr. Green runs things from a curiosity shop. There's lots and lots of references like that in you this. Give them a slip. <laughs> Gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <laughs> we take over Starek's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the rooks. <laughs> you are not starting again. It's called the rooks. I believe yes, I have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to our activities. 
my ally in the force, Sergeant Adeline. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starrick never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. Continue. Yes, this explains the map. We can access the map and do various activities to capture bits and eventually the crime boss will show up and then take him out. So yeah, we're in Whitechapel at the moment but if we zoom out We've got this whole area of central London to play around in, eventually. And in fact, I believe as of this moment, we can we could literally go anywhere we want, but uh, the enemies they suggested level five for yeah Westminster suggested level nine. Uh, we go there, we'll get murdered. So we can do that, sorts of things, but I think I will have just a little wander around first. I will see if it What's will let me. What's the plan then, oh mighty planner? You're the one with the grand ideas. The gangs, the fights, even the outfits you'll wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist. Right, here we go. Now, has everything unlocked is the question. I'm bouncing out of menus here. Inventory. Yes, right, here we go. Okay, we don't quite have everything here, but I can equip blue. What capes do I have? Cloak of the people. Yeah, I want that. I uh, can't get it yet. Okay. We'll leave that equipped. Is this the thing? There's things like I know are there but I don't actually have access to them yet. Move to that. Gauntlets. I need to be level three before equipping some of those. And outfits. Now, I don't know if it'll let me equip all of these. Yes, Elise was a character in Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, Avaline was uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation. Yeah, the Nighthawk outfit's normally what I wear because it decreases detection speed. But there's also a kind of Dracula outfit, which is very cool looking. And uh, Dr. Daniel's garments, which is your, your steampunk outfit. But I will stick with this for now. I can't really update any weapons or anything yet, so... 
Oops. So, yeah, another th thing about the Assassin's Creed games is I can happily spend ages just wandering around and just exploring. But we will actually have a look at something to catch an urchin. Gang stronghold, we don't want to do that quite yet. Templar hunt. Do the Templar hunt. It shows on the map. Well, the other thing is I don't have a bit of equipment that makes traversing the city a bit easier. Eventually you get a grappling hook, which is absolutely awesome. Where are you? Who's shouting at me? You? You? You starting something? Sorry, what was that? Can't hear you. You've gone quiet all of a sudden. This may have been a mistake. Oops, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, Mr. Cobber. We'll run, we'll run, we'll run, we'll, we'll get away from you. We don't want to beat, we don't want to beat up the police if we can avoid it. to each end a bit. There we go. Health slowly building back up. So I thought, do I, do I actually have health packs at the moment? Possibly not. There's St Paul's Cathedral over there. No Cybermen around it, thankfully. part of what I love about these games, the fact you do feel like you are in a living map. Oops. I'm getting stabby. That's what I'm doing. to the high ground first before we do anything. So our target will be in this area somewhere. Yeah, that went badly. That went badly.
I am amazed Dean I'm amazed the target did not notice that. Yeah, okay, I think we identified him. Continue. Yeah, that worked. And escape the area. And up we go. And that's one activity done. And while it's quite guided at this point, it specifically told you to do these four things. Later on, you basically just choose what you want to do first and do it in any order you want. So that's one area done of White Chapel. Where will we go next? Uh, leave Abilene for. Do, do, do. That's a stronghold. We'll leave that till last to catch an urchin. Go. Oh, and I see a shop on the map. Oh, and I've got some skills available. So I will go to the shop first. Ah, oh, here we go. Refill everything. Right, skills. Lockpick, not quite yet. I'll go for the health boost. Near level two now. I can buy two more, we'll go. Help us too. And Eagle Vision. Oh, I don't have enough points. But yeah, Eagle Vision 3 is what I'll aim for next. Okay, we can upgrade to that. Purchase and equip. Need to be level four, need to be level four. Yeah, can't get any of them yet, so that's fine, we'll just leave them for now. Ah, uh, no, we're going this way. Oh. Sorry, what was that? Now, you see, when, when a blighter shouts out at me, I could just leave them. I could just ignore them. But, no. If they're going to have a go... We do you what? Yes, yeah, so our little ghost indicator is like your last known position if you have been detected. 
that's where they last saw you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There we go. We're taking a little roundabout route to get there, but we'll get there. Oh, this will be fun, this will be fun. Yeah, so you were saying. Ooh, 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 right, okay. Off we go, sideways, out of the, out of the way. I don't know, but it's looking back. Hey! Okay, why'd that disappear? Set marker. Yeah, okay. This way. What'll I come over and teach you? Sorry. Yeah, get stuffed, you. Ah, nick all the stuff. Check his wallet. Now, it should be pointed out <laughs> that everyone I'm doing that to, apart from that one policeman I gave a couple of punches to, are bad people. If you do start going around killing innocent people, uh, you'll get desynchronized, which is the equivalent of a game over. Because as the game will always remind you, uh, whatever character you're playing did not kill innocents or civilians. And you may be thinking, well, if you can climb up things, you will get to climb up Big Ben at some point and hang off the clock face like Robert Powell in the 39 steps. Yes. Yes, you do. Ah, the popular kids game of chutting stones in the corner. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here, we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara. Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask for a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence. Something you clearly need. Ooh. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? Harsh, but fair. We accept. <laughs> Let her do in business with you. I actually really like these missions. So, they are a lot of fun. So, yeah. And actually, the last night I'd been playing on my main save was all uh, doing some of these. Just check. Yeah, let's watch your box inside. So yeah, there's an alarm bell. I 
and you, you are a contemptible bampot. And we are going to take you out. Can I be concerned with what's happening? No, just you carry on with what you're doing, mate. Not a problem. wrong thing equipped there so I completely cocked that up <laughs> but luckily not drastically <laughs> that's what I wanted equipped No time limit or anything on these. So these you can generally just take your time. Methodically go around, take people out slowly one by one. Thank you, Miss Pro. Okay, I've still got one knife left at least. Okay. Good. You'll be all right. Trust me. Show you one. And there we go. Children saved. And there's quite a lot of those around London, and they're always a lot of fun. So it's the fact there's no real time limit on them, so you can just take your time and plan and try different things. Right, so. Uh, Aveline, if I remember rightly, I have to kidnap someone for him. So, yeah. That's just getting to 9 o'clock now, but I am going to keep going. for at least another half hour. No, I've only one point. I want to get I want to get three points so I can I'm a what? Sorry? What was that? You were saying? So up over and down. Mate, stay over there or I'll take care of you. Huh. 
yeah, no, another thing. Again, another thing about the Assassin's Creed games. For the majority of time, uh, climbing and getting around is mostly effortless. It can occasionally get just a little bit clunky and throw you off a bit, but on the whole it's really good. But occasionally you will kind of... Not quite stuck on the geometry, but you'll end up going up and down the same little bit a couple of times. So this just feels a bit weird without the grappling hook. Okay, why is this not showing up? Do, do, do. Now I'm going to resume. Set marker. Oh yeah, there we go. Don't see Mr. Aberline. Well, we tried. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. <laughs> What's this? Fucking <laughs> blow the gaff. What? Sergeant Aberline, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. I may dunk on Jacob, but he, I, I like him, really. Now, whatever you do, try to remain within the bounds of the law, for my sake. Don't meet any corpses at the station. Approach the target from behind and attempt to make them talk. Come on. Come on. This did not go well. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, you were saying? No noise, just 
Okay, we did. We did. We did manage to recover the situation at least. What's him over there? I'm most worried about. No, okay. Act naturally. So okay, as long as that circle doesn't go across any blighters. We're okay. Quiet and I won't hurt you. And there we go. And try. And again, because this is a simulation, there's GPS tracking. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you're like, wait, but how could the have that can just be explained by the fact that, yeah, you're playing a simulation in all these games. Here now. And there we go. Hooligan delivered. To see him bars. Thank you. And yeah, you can bring them back dead, but you don't get as many... Uh, experience points or monies. Three down, one to go. And this is another fun one, which is why I held off slightly. Gang stronghold. Oh, you will, will you? Sorry, you're saying? Now we'll just snip back over here. There's a shopkeeper over here. Just refill everything. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just a wee bit of stuff in my throat. It's okay, I'm not. It's not the virus or anything. Ooh, I hear a choo choo train. But that's for later. So, yeah, I think I'll play up until we take out. Yeah. You saw nothing. Hold on, I hear singing. So yeah, love these games. Whoops, sorry, sorry, apologies. <laughs> and she just shouted at me to kiss her ass. Lovely. Is everything all right? It was. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, small child. As always, once we start getting close to the area, take to the high ground so we can have a look see. That was the noise of someone spotting me, but it can't have been close. Oh, now, yes, here's the thing. Got to remember, I do not have the grappling hook. So, right up this building should get us close enough to the area. 
Yeah, here we go. So this is, well, similar thing to the factory. So in this case, I have to eliminate ten blighters. And if possible, free and collect all the clinkers. One down. And back up. And swing it around. Okay, there's one there. Assassinate him. No, I can do a leap of faith though. There you go. So there's only one to wait a minute, I didn't want to pick them up. <laughs> Alright, there's one more. Oh, I think one Oh you're talking to them, not me. Right, okay. Let's just Okay, there's one more. I've half a mind to take you home and feed you to me dog. This one shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, I think I lost one of the prisoners. The stronghold done. Yeah, it's like yellow and green, really. Is that the colours you chose, Jacob? Yeah, again, if I'd protected one more person, I would have gotten a little bonus money, but. Said, you ain't exactly penalised for not doing the, the extra side challenges. So now, gang war available. And it's just going to start straight away because I'm already there. You and your brother are attracting the wrong kind of attention. I would be careful. Yeah, you yes, better be you careful, be, mate. As you like. Make me 
just loot every, loot every, loot all of the things. Yeah, the coward may have run away this time, but he's no going to escape. Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Taylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Yeah. I'm sure he can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. Yeah, to be honest, I've always just stuck with Evie's sword cane. Because it is just one of the coolest weapons. Just gonna stick with that for now. Just like Mr. Say Rexford Kalock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. Like I said, in the open world stuff, I use EV 90% of the time anyway, so I'm not too bothered about the, the knife. <laughs> Where are you, Kalock? Perhaps this will draw you out. Yeah, this ain't exactly the most difficult boss fight in video game history. Yes! Right off the bridge! Yeah, ledge kill. As we, as we MST3K fans call it. Railing kill! Now we have a base. And we've conquered Whitechapel. So that's the first area of London uh, taken over. Loading, 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 keep that data loading, 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 hard drive. Kalok is dead. Why 
Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the Blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Sterik and his cutthroats. Of course, can't afford to animate him actually taking the jacket off and putting the new one on. I joke, I joke. I understand why they don't show it. It's very complicated. Ah, you bastard. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that dotted ball bag. Daylock? He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. And who might you be? I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I always bail your heat. You take better than scraps? Oh. I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha. Lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. I love the fact they had they explained away in Bailey Heed uh, in for the non Scottish playing. So we have a train now. And uh Green knows someone who can fix the grappling hook and we'll meet him next week. I'm going to leave that there for tonight. Uh, we've taken over an area of London. We've got a train. Uh, we've got a big Scottish woman who could probably kick our asses. Perfect. So, hope you enjoyed uh, this romp through Victorian London. Uh, I said we'll be playing this again next Monday. Friday, we'll be back to the Diablo Hardcore run. Uh, it's gone okay so far. Hopefully that'll keep going without a hitch. And uh, as I've said before, if any other night I'm playing something and I just feel up to streaming, you might get a random stream now and then as well on top of this. But uh, that's it for tonight. I uh, hope you all enjoyed watching, either live or on the video on demand or on the YouTube backup, which as usual should be up tomorrow at the latest. And I will see you all later. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I've was, I've was, okay, I've resisted it, but oh, it's a jolly old day with you, Evie Fry. Oi. Up oh, the apples and pears, it did. No, we'll probably end up with more of that later on, definitely. <laughs> so that's it for tonight. Bye.